I awaken bright and early the next morning. Leon and I have a quick spar and practice. Uh have a quick spar and practice and return to the group at just in time for breakfast. After we finish eating and clean up the camp, we waste no time resuming our journey towards, towards Coast of Coral. It was... Wait, what? It was kind of nice having her close to me all day, though. Wow, what was the point of that? <laughs> um... I, I, I'm not... I'm, this line confuses me, like... Who, who who all day? Like what happened here? I'm confused. It just it didn't really make sense in, in the context of this. The road towards Costa Coral is clear, and we make good time. With the sun high in the sky, sweat pricks my skin. The temperature is much milder here than it was back north. It's a welcome change from the previous cold. We arrive at Coastal Coral Costa Coral in the afternoon. Whoa! This looks like uh, I don't, I don't even know what it looks like looks like something. As we pass through the gates, the first thing I notice is the salty breeze coasting through town. The houses and shops are all built higher above the ground than what I'm used to seeing, uh, with large wide windows to let in the sun and breeze. We pass through the main square. People per peruse the shops, but the bustle isn't quite as busy as the previous towns. Shopkeepers laze by the desk, fanning themselves with wide woven fans. The slow pace of the town calms me. This would be a really nice place to just relax for a few days. There's a bright smile on Le Leanna's face as she enjoys the wind combing through combing through her hair. Yeah, everyone seems to feel the same tranquility I do. After passing through town, we find the inn where we settle down. We order some food and situate ourselves near the open window. Amelia immediately consults her notes. Now that we have arrived at Costa Coral, it would be in our best interest to survey the area and search for additional information which can lead to the Water Temple. No one answers, sir. I look at the rest of the group, and they're staring out the window. Following their gaze, their view from the inn overlooks the brilliant white sands and crystal blue water. <sighs> oh boy. I should have known this is where this was going, but I and I feel dumb for not. But this is good because I kind of I, I was kind of hoping that there would be some more stuff because it kind of feels like we're getting close to the end. Um, but I, this is good. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of sidetrack in here, which is nice. Hi. Beach day. Pongo pops out from seemingly nowhere and settles near the window. Hey, you're blocking my, my view. I cannot it's see. So beautiful. You're beautiful. Fuck me. <laughs> I <wanna> die. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. I'm just like, oh god, that was really cheesy. Come on now, friend. Ooh, and I'm talking to myself. Oh my god, this is bad. Ooh. Car grins broadly and leans closer to the window to get a better look. Even Zack relaxes as he watches the gentle lapping of the waves. Only Amelia remains transfixed on her notes. Perhaps we should inquire with the locals here as to the whereabouts of the temple. I thought you said it was underwater. I don't really think they're gonna know anything unless they're like scuba divers and like really good at it. Leanna reluctantly tears her gaze away from the beach. Well, I suppose we should do that. Or we could take a break from all that traveling and take some time to recharge and then scout for information. I vote that. Boy, boy. Wow, that was, I apparently had the right tone because the pango just matched my tone. Pongo seconds that vote. Yeah, no, no shit, buddy. Come on. Let me just say that. Pongo's got good taste. What? I don't have good taste. I, you missed me. I have good taste too. You see my fucking cute ass girlfriend jesus christ car kneels down and pets pots blah, 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 pats the pongo on the head he chirrups happily we have arrived here for a purpose and that purpose should be fulfilled the purpose is to go to the beach sweetheart all right sweetie that's true but wouldn't we have more success after we've had a chance to rest and can search with fresh eyes what's the difference what do i do i need to put my eyes in the fridge to make them fresh again what is this what's going on I've been feeling a bit pale after spending so much time in the cold north. It'd be so nice to just relax and bask in the sun for a while. My energy isn't going anywhere. The beach sounds like a great idea. <laughs> There's a pause as we blink at Zack. Really? Of course. Leanna wrinkles her brow. There's no reward for going to the beach. Not everything I do has to have a reward. Car smirks and wraps herself around Zack. 
Obviously, his motivation for going to the beach is to spend more time with me. Yeah, that's totally what it is. I take it back. Let's do Amy's thing. Hey! <laughs> Amy looks thoughtful. The journey here has been long. I suppose a brief repose could be a good idea. Then it's settled. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't exactly pack my swimsuit. I'm sure you can buy one. Good point. I noticed a few clothing shops we passed on our way here. Perhaps we may find something suitable within. Why don't we take a look at the shops, and then we all can meet down at the beach. Good. <laughs> I like this. We agree to the plan and begin to head off when Car stops me and Zack. What? Nah, -uh. No boys allowed. What? I need one. What? It'll be way more fun if it's a surprise. Trust me. I mean, yeah, but I thought we were going to separate anyway. I still need one. I still need one. She winks and hurries out with Leanna and Amy before we can protest. That just leaves Zack and me to team up and shop for swimsuits. Dude. My guy is, like, ripped, too. So is Zack. Zack's ripped, too. He had his shirt off once. I mean, it's really nothing... For, for us, it's really more about them because they we already had our towels in the hot spring, so they pretty much have seen everything they need to. There's nothing impressive about boys' swimsuits. I mean, there's not really anything impressive about girls' swimsuits, but I guess like there's a lot more variation there. There is a there is a very subjective thing about women's bathing suits, I think, whereas guys is kind of like very standard, you know. Like I think because because I I do I do think that a lot of a lot of dudes um and people in general prefer um different kinds of you know women's bathing suits <laughs> um you know we'll see how we'll see how it goes i will reveal my own briefly as we as we go and see what goes on here after leaving the inn together we browse the local bazaar why i mean i i, I thought they were gonna go to like a swimsuit shop we each flip through the racks. Zack grabs the first pair of dark swim trunks he finds and brings it up to the counter for purchase. Wow, that was fast. He shrugs. It's not like it really matters. This is true. I take a look at a few different styles, but ultimately decide on an orange suit. Isn't my hair also orange? I, I think. I can't remember exactly. After buying our suits, we head down to the beach to get change. No, it's not orange. It's like dark. It's like a weird brown... Maybe it's like, I don't remember what color it is. Hold on, I didn't know this. Give me like two seconds. Give me like two seconds. No, I'm, I'm still here. Boo, 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 boo. Here we are. Where is it? Mine's... So it's like a weird reddish brown color. Weird. I don't like that. I don't like that color hair. I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm okay with my color hair, but, like, that color hair is just odd. We carefully tread down the stairs carved into the wall of the cliff until we, <laughs> until we, our feet touch the warm sand. Sorry, that was a, oh, wow, beach. This, is this, I don't think this is Beach or Mace Academy, I think this is a different, very, very slightly different, but it is different. The beach is laden with visitors. Children build sandcastles or race by the water, shrieking when the waves lap at their feet. Even more children playing long, play, play along the cliffs, chased by their parents who fiercely scold them. <laughs> wow. They're just like, come back here, you're going to get you, you're going to get you, uh, you go get a spanking. Most people lounge beneath the sun, flipping every so often to even out their tans. Oh, I thought they were flipping book, book pages. Zack and I wait for the girls in a more secluded spot. Well, how are they going to find you, buddy? Boy. Well, Pang the Pongo found you, so I guess that's a good start. I glance down to see the Pongo has returned. You made it here before the girls. Boy. Is that just me, or does he sound disappointed? We continue to wait. And wait. So, Zack, what kind of swimsuits do you think the girls will get? Look at his, like, he's literally just wearing his own pants. That's not even anything changed. Nice ones, I would guess. Well, I nod. I'm really looking forward to seeing. Oh, well, I have to, I have to choose. Well, we don't really want to. We don't really want to take as a girl, right? So I think the middle choice is out of the question. And we, and the last time I tried to do Amy, something regarding Amy, it went poorly. So. 
think I don't really have a choice. Looking forward to seeing ellipses thinking briefly. There it is. <laughs> that's like in, in the actual conversation, that's like what it would have sounded like. Wow, this is like a scientific analysis. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of swimsuit Leanna chooses based on her reaction to Wolves Den armor. I'm guess she might cover up a bit more. Yeah, but don't forget, she actually kept the Wolf's Den armor. This is true. Thanks for the reassurance, buddy. True. So I like this is really like a scientific analysis. What the what the frick, dude? What the fuck? Um, true. So maybe she's secretly like showing more skin. You'd know better than I would. Oh! <laughs> and what about your girl hair there, friend? Um, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, if there's anyone she'd enjoy showing more skin to, it's certainly not me. My cheeks heat up at the thought. It's Kara. <laughs> that is probably very true. Good one, buddy! Way to turn that one around. Zach nods. Finally, we hear the girls before we see them. Car leads the way and bounces into view. Oh boy, her string bikini seems to be struggling to stay put. Hey guys. Oh. Were you waiting long? Uh, a little bit. But that's actually better than I was expecting. Actually. Wow. The more you know. Dark as well. Also goes well with whatever is going on in her hair. I like it. That's good shit. <laughs> what is that? He responds with a low guttural gurgle. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Except that. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm out of it. Oh my god. This one day. Kara blinks. I mean, yes, we were waiting forever. <laughs> he was like, oh. <laughs> she grins slightly. Sorry to keep you waiting. It took a while for me to find the perfect suit. Yeah, yeah, sure it did. She spins around. So, what do you think? Do a full, little spinny spin. Zach shrugs. It's fine. He seems actually disappointed. Car pouts. Before she can respond, Leanna and Amy catch up to us. Oh boy, here we go. Leanna's... What? What is that? Words? I don't... My, this is peculiar, actually. Kind of weird. Um, what is going on with her one leg, by the way? Um, this is a a Amelia or Amy's is pretty uh, predictable. Um, don't mind. Uh, but Leanna is just. What is going on? Is that? What is happening? I don't understand this. Is this an actual bathing suit? Oh, lord. What on earth? Okay. Leanna's white bandeau... Is... Uh, I don't know this word. Suit hugs her in all the right ways, while Amy's pink ruffles make her look cute and girly. Oh, and all of a sudden, Amy's gone. I gave Leanna a once-over. This is my new favorite outfit. Um... This is peculiar. Okay, um, we don't really... She seems kind of nervous about it. Um... So... I think we want to give her a compliment. But not the wrong kind of compliment. So, middle choice is out. Um... Because it's not my favorite outfit. I still stand very, very strongly by the, um... Her normal outfit. Um, so we don't really, I don't think third option is out of the question, so I want to try this first one, which is a little bit weird, but we're going to try it. She looks even better than I expected. That's a great look for you. Well, that's, that's good. Leanna blushes and grins shyly. I'm glad you like it. There it is. Okay, good. Um, yeah, because I had flattering in it, which is not a word you would use on a creepy insult. Um, Amelia walks right past us and settles into the sand. She just, like, falls face first. Uh, hey there, uh, hey there, Amy. Greetings. What are you doing? I am selecting the prime location for me to begin my construction. Construction? Of the most structurally sound sand fortress. 
All right. You're gonna build that in one day? The Pongo bounces over to Amy and wobbles excitedly. Of course, you may be of assistance. Lena pulls me aside as Amy starts digging in the sand. Why don't we go check out the water? Good idea. I take Leanna's hand and lead her to the ocean. She glances furtively back at the others, but nobody pays attention to us. Her fingers intertwine with mine, and a smile graces her lips. She carefully dips her toe in the water. Her s How does that work at the beach? Leave her be. I watch with amusement as Leanna, like, because I could do that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that shit. I watch with amusement as Leanna gently eases herself into the water. Once she's comfortable, she grins and motions me over. I leap in with a splash. Ooh, look at that sound effect. Hey! See, I, that was fine. See, you can you can ease the tension that way without pushing her in. Pushing her in is a little bit too much because sometimes like she could actually get mad at you for that. And like even though it's very clearly an act of being playful, like sometimes people legitimately don't want that to happen to them. And you have to be considerate. Wow, that was we like froze on a really weird frame. It looks like she had no eyes or something. Leanna splashes me and I dive out of the way before returning to this returning the splash. She ducks from the water, but a few droplets catch her. She grins mischievously, or mischievously, however you want to say it, and uses her That's actually mis mischievous. I guess it would be mischievously. Mischievously is how you would actually pronounce it. Um because not yes. Just, okay, whatever. Uh, she and uses her arm to send a small wave my way. Oh, she's a waterbender. Whoa! I try to swim out of the way, but the wave splashes in my face. She's cheating! So that's how she wants to play. I use both my arms and send an even larger wave over in Leanna's direction. She automatically moves her arm into casting position, hopefully hoping to push the wave away from her, and realizes that it's too late and she's still not wearing her manipulator. Old habits must die hard. The wave crashes around her. Oh, you are so going to regret that. Oh, try me. Uh-oh. Let's not do anything rash now. I try to swim away and put some more distance between her and myself. For all I know, she's going to somehow send a tsunami my way. Lena swims closer to, to close the gap. You're just having fun, right? I ready myself for the worst to my, to my surprise. Leanna swims over to me and boops me on the nose. Huh? Would you? Wow. I've been had. Da <laughs> Dang. Boop. She giggles. <laughs> I got you all riled up for nothing. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh yeah? I grab her waist and pull her into me. She gasps as she looks up to me, her chest against my own. Whoa. This is like getting... Uh, I don't know what this has to do anything with your little game there, friend. But... Good, good, good try, I guess. <laughs> um, with the team back on the beach, I draw Leanna into a lingering kiss. Her eyes flutter as we pull breathlessly away. Oh, I think eyes fluttering. That's cute. <clears throat> now who's the one all riled up? Still you. She playfully pushes me away, trying to mask the, mask the color in her cheeks. Leanna squeezes some of the water out of her hair. I think I'm ready to dry out a bit in the sun. You were in here for like a, a minute. Yeah, same here. Let's go check back in with the others. We head back to shore. Amelia's fortress looks to be near- What the frick? Amelia's- <laughs> What the fuck? How is it already done? Amelia's fortress looks to be nearly complete. The girl work That girl works fast. The pongo bounces from buttress to buttress, a little shovel in his mouth. That's cute. He's helping. Zack lounges on the sand, his eyes closed, while Kara pouts beside him. She doesn't look too happy at Zack. As soon as she spots us, she rushes over to Leanna. Feeling kind of hungry. Are you hungry? I, I am hungry, actually. Uh, let's go get some food. She grabs Leanna's hand and drags her over to the food cart. I stand next to Zach. What was that about? Meh. <laughs> Meh. Zach leans back into his beach chair. Um, I think Carl was trying to get your attention. Zach. I know, Jim. What? What are you doing? Trying to relax. You should be relaxing with Kara. I was. She was right next to me. I mean, maybe with your eyes open and focused on her. Zach raises an eyebrow. 
Leanna returns with an ice cream and seems excited to eat it. God bless her soul. Car trails behind her. She stops right in front of Zack, but turns to face Leanna. I'm starving. When Leanna looks at Car, she seems just as baffled as ever. Um, Car reveals a banana and nothing else. I thought she was starving. She peels a banana and then carefully maneuvers the fruit as. F oh, I I I had a I had a. I had a prob I had a feeling I knew that this was going. I didn't think it was actually gonna happen though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Mm. Red alert! Red alert! She peels the banana and then carefully maneuvers the fruit as far into her mouth as possible. Kara, be careful! If you take it all at once, you could choke! Oh, God bless her little- and oh my god, I love her. She's great. Car grins and slowly pulls the intact banana out of her mouth. Oh, don't worry. I have to <laughs> control over my gag reflexes. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God, Zack, dude. Zack, dude. She wants to suck your dick. Come on, buddy! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Zack starts coughing as his face turns red. I'm sure, mine is. Wow, that was very forward. But you're right. I'm just so hungry that I got a little eager. You're hungry for something else, there, friend. Come on now. Is this better? She puts a sizable amount of the banana in her mouth at once. Then, noticing Leanna's chagrin, she carefully pulls back a lot. She takes a bit more, then pulls back. I don't think she's actually planning on eating that banana. Mm. Mm. Oh no! Zack, buddy, come on! She makes eye contact with Zack. You have weird eating habits. <laughs> <laughs> what a comeback, though. Well done, buddy. Good job. Oh, that was good. Kara's eyes flash, and she takes a vicious bite out of the banana. For some reason, I wince, and so does Zack. When she's done eating, Kari gets close to Leanna again. Oh, do you know what we forgot to do? Put on sunscreen! Good. This isn't a fair- this is an innocent enough activity. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Alright. I'm still a little- a little bit weirded out from that, but that's okay. Well- well done? I guess? Leanna's eyes widen. You're right! You don't like to tan? It's not about tanning. It's about protecting your skin. You don't want that skin cancer. You don't want that. You don't want that. Exactly! Le Car leads Leanna over to the beach towels and the two of them settle in. Then Kara grabs a, a glob of sunscreen into her hands and starts rubbing the... Ooh. <laughs> starts rubbing the lotion across her chest. Zex gaze is fixated on the gentle rhythm of her hands. Mmm. Huh. Wow. All right. She is all in. There is a joke there. <laughs> and I don't refuse to make it. Zach, you're gonna be all in in a little bit here, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Oh. Anyway, I'm a little shooketh. I am shooketh by that. Ugh. Leanna follows Kara's lead and begins liberally spreading sunscreen over her, over her skin. I'm mesmerized by the smooth flow of her hands across her supple skin. And I imagine they're my hands travel. Oh my god. Traveling up or down her- that's weird. Traveling up and down her body. Look at Amelia off in the background. I like it. Look at us and <laughs> Zach. Okay, this is a very odd position for them to be in. Goodness gravy, golly gosh. Zach, buddy, I like how actually our heads are actually like almost exactly the same shape and our hair is also pretty much exactly the same. This is fantastic. Suddenly, Kara's lying on her stomach and the towel on the towel and motions to Leanna. I turn to Zach. You know, I couldn't see it when you were on the bed in Wolf's Den in this pose. But now I'm starting to understand what you mean. I told you, it's the most attractive pose. 
Oh, I can call back there. I see it. Okay. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. Maybe not most attractive, but pretty attractive. Liana, do you think you could help me with my back? I'll return the favor. Why did you take that off? You didn't have to. I mean, okay, yeah, wait, maybe you did, actually. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Of course. Liana kneels beside her and squirts the lotion into her hands. Suddenly, the bikini strings across Kara's back fall to her sides, undone. You'll be able to reach more this way. Liana nods, then carefully rubs her hands across Car along Kara's skin, making sure to spread the sunscreen evenly across her whole back. Oh, that feels so nice. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now, friends, whoa now. Zack clears his throat and tries to look away, but his eyes are repeatedly drawn back to the girls. Even I start to feel the flush in my cheeks. I really wish I were Kara right now. Do you? Getting sunscreen on your back? I mean, I guess, but... As Liana, Liana's hands travel up Kara's back, the strings holding her bikini up fall loosely to her sides. Oops. That's okay. I don't want any tan lines anyway. Kara lets out a soft moan as Leanna finishes up her back. A small strangled sound escapes Zack's throat. I look over and notice a stream of blood trickling out of his nose. Uh, I think you've got a bit of something. I gesture to his nose. I'm fine. <laughs> when Leanna's done, she helps retie Kara's swimsuit. As Kara stands, she turns around to speak to Zack, then smirks when she notices the nosebleed. Alright, Leanna, your turn. Leanna looks back at us and frowns. Uh, maybe later, when we don't have so much of an audience. I can close my eyes if that helps. It doesn't. Zack and I get shooed away while Carr gives Leanna the same sunscreen treatment. Zack wipes his nose and quickly returns to his usual self while I sneak as many peeks at the girls as I can. Carr seems very familiar with Leanna. My mind wanders back to all those times they shared a room. What actually happens behind the closed doors? After a while, the girls return and Carr throws a ball at us. Zack's lightning reflexes catch the ball. Nice catch! Where did you get this? Does it matter? Kara? She giggles. I bought it, silly. It was with us the entire time. But I suppose you were a bit too distracted to notice. She winks. What game are we playing? Beach ball. What? What does that mean? Leanna grins. A classic beach game. I don't know what that is. How do you play? We'll split into teams. Me and Zach, and you and Leanna. We'll each stay on our own side oh, of the court and try to hit the ball over to the other side without letting it drop to the ground. <clears throat> All right. So it's just volleyball. This sounds suspiciously like beach volleyball. I hope you're ready to lose. Um, is Car taller than Leanna? Because Zach's definitely taller than me. I feel like I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here. Uh, sounds fun. Sure, that sounds like it could be fun. And it'll just be an added bonus when we win. Kara smirks. Oh yeah? Should we make a wager? Let's not. I pale as I remember the last time we made a wager. Uh, let's just keep it a friendly match this time. Car laughs. You better get into position or this first serve will be an automatic point for me. Sports ball! No, it's just, it's volleyball. I know, I know my, my sports. A little bit. You know, relatively, I suppose. Um, Leanna and I, blah, 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 I can't, it's just so difficult to say. Leanna and I hurry over to the other side of the court. There's a towel placed in the sand to divide the two sides. So there's no net. I guess that's handy because I'm really bad with the net. <laughs> Kara serves and Leanna dives to bump it. Then I spike it over the side, expecting the ball to smash into the ground, but Zack saves it and bumps it over. I scramble to reach it, but it lands gently in the sand. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the strongest start. It isn't long before Zack and Kara get into the swing of things. Soon, the volleys to either side take longer and longer. At one point, Amy wanders over and sits down on the sidelines to watch. Do we have a court like an out-of-bounds at all? On the last volley, Kara spikes the ball over to our side. Lena dives to bump it, but misses by a breath, and the ball bounces in the sand. Leanna lets out a frustrated groan. She serves the ball hard, and it flies out of the court. Ah! It's okay. Um... Try to give her a pep talk. I don't really want to cheat. How did Karin's yeah. 
We can't let this get to us. It's like you say with my training. Stay focused and filter out all distractions. Leanna nods determinedly. You're right. She closes her eyes and takes a few deep breaths. Feel calmer? She smiles as she opens her eyes. Yep, I'm ready to win. And what's the score? Are you ladies here to talk or play? I scowl. We're here to win. Go to fold me. Just serve the ball. Although Leanne and I try our hardest to keep up, we can't close the lead that Zack and Kara maintain. Ultimately, we end up losing. Car Leanna pouts as Kara and Zack celebrate. I still don't understand how they are so good. Neither do I. Amy brushes herself off as she stands. It is because they play upon each other's strengths. Kara's dexterity and swift reflexes allows her free range to serve the ball for Zack's powerful strikes. We did that! Mila gives me a blank look. Uh, sort of. That's pretty smart of them. We mostly just split the court in half and figured if the ball fell into whoever's half, that's who would try to hit it. They really are a perfect match. Car throws around Zack, her arms around Zack, and she jumps up and down in celebration. A broad smile splits his face as Zack's arms wrap around her too. Suddenly he seems to realize what he's done and quickly lets go. Car grins and scoots back close to him. We make a great team, don't we? You're pretty good at this. Oh, was that a compliment I just heard? Zack crosses his arms. Don't make a big deal out of it. She laughs. Well, you're pretty good at this too. The game over, we all gather together and hang out. The sun begins descending in the sky and we enjoy the light, breathe, bleh, light breeze billowing around us. I'm... I'm still a little shook by Kara. Jesus. <clears throat> Collectively, we relax in the sand and enjoy the last warmth of the sun. I close my eyes and soak in the rays, but I still feel a bit restless. I nod to Leanna. Let's go for a walk. Sure. What a random suggestion. I brushing off the sand, I get to my feet, and the two of us walk in pace. The beach expands out onto the horizon. Brilliant colors paint the sky as the sun kisses the ocean line. Why does everything have to kiss things? Jesus. We pass by the cliffs, and both Leanne and I hear voices. She stiffens as she goes on high alert. Do you hear that? No. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We pick up the pace and can make out frantic yelling. Help! Somebody help! My head swings around as I glance wildly about me, then my gaze focuses on a small boy gripping the edge of a cliff with his tiny fingers. Uh. His face is a wash of panic as tears stream down his face. The woman, who I assume is the mother, screams for help, tears glistening in her eyes as a crowd forms around them. Leanna breaks for me and races to address the boy. I'm close on her heels. Everything is going to be okay. I just need you to keep holding on, okay? The boy chokes out his words between sobs. I can't. Doesn't sound like a small boy. Don't let go. Just keep holding on. I need my manipulator. Look, honey, I don't know what to tell you. She turns on her heel and sprints back towards the group and our belongings. Leanna! Make sure he holds on. I'll be right back. My heart races as she disappears from view. The boy swings precariously on the cliffside. She'll never make it in time. I can't. You can do it. Just hold on a little bit longer, okay? My hands are... <laughs> time slows as the boy's fingers slip. I feel helpless as I watch one hand flail and... Then the other, and suddenly the boy disappears as he falls. I'm not sure where, where we are in this, exactly. My ears pound to the beat of my heart, and all sounds are muted as if washed away by the ocean. He rushes through the air, but time seems to slow as I reach out my arm. Whoa, okay, here we go. This is getting crazy. The only thought in my head is to save him. I want him to slow. He's falling too fast. Slow down. Gather wind around him and slow down. And to my surprise, he does. Whoa. So I can cast about my manipulator now, I guess. His descent slows and slows until he's hovering just above the ground, and then he drops ungracefully into the sand, but ultimately unhurt. His mother is right by his side, clutching him to her chest. His sobs are drowned by the tears of his mother, and she scolds him with a mixture of harsh words and kisses. The scene replays in my head over and over again. How was he falling, and then he wasn't? I remember reaching on my arm, and, and then the one that saved him. Was that from me? I can still feel the lingering tingle in my arm as the energy dissipates. Gradually, the shock wears off and I feel life return to my limbs. I am a bit groggy like I've just woken up from a nap, but I still notice the intense stares a few people are giving me. 
Whispers snake around me and I catch words like casting and impossible. That was magic, wasn't it? The boy slowed down and then stopped in midair. You saw it, didn't you? But who could have cast it? Must have been a mage out here, watching. Yeah. They glance around, looking for anyone who could be suspicious, then their gaze la gazes land on me. Uh-oh. As their eyes narrow, Lena finally returns and rushes over. The team is right behind her, our things already gathered. Lena gently urges me to move. Now that the boy is safe, we should get moving. Indeed, it will only cause more questions the longer we stay. As we trudge up the cliffside stairs, I can't stop wondering. Was that me? I knew I wanted to save the kid, but I wasn't wearing my manipulator. That's impossible, isn't it? And yet I feel an unmistakable tingle of magic flow through my arm. Kara voices my thoughts in a low, urgent voice. What happened back there? I don't know. You cast it. What? Somehow, you have discovered a method in which you can cast without your manipulator. But I thought that was impossible. Yes, however, absorbing energy directly is impossible too. For you to use that internal energy to cast is a new occurrence for all of us. We don't know how to channel magic without a manipulator, so we could only teach you to cast in the only way we know how. Do you believe you could replicate such a casting? No, I'm not sure. Maybe here isn't the best place to be discussing this. Zack eyes the crowd of people rushing past us, presumably to check out the beach. Yeah, let's get to the end first. 